Good morning, guys. I hope that your week is off to a great start. Today, we are back in the living room. We're going to be doing a little bit more summer decorating with more of a focus on the 4th of July. So last week, we decorated the front porch and we added some patriotic festive touches. And I want to kind of continue that as you walk into the house because the living room is the very first room that you walk into when you come through the front door. We don't really have an entryway, so it's just, you come right on into the living room. So I've got some really great ideas that are going to incorporate the festive touches, but still keep that classy, elegant look that we have here in the living room. I'm going to be using a vintage flag that belonged to my grandparents. I made my own scarf bunting that I'll be showing you guys shortly. If you're on Instagram, you might have seen it in my stories yesterday. Yesterday I was working on it. I've also got some more blue and white decor that I want to sprinkle throughout, some pillow covers that I've made, some that I've been using for the last couple of years. We're just going to dress the place up a little bit and make it feel a little bit more festive for the incoming season. This nine foot long bunting scarf is one of my favorite sewing projects that I've done in a really long time. And believe it or not, I spent less than $10 on the materials to make it. I bought one yard each of red, white, and blue broadcloth fabric at Joann's for just $2.99 a yard. I cut three equal strips from each color across the length of the fabric at eight inches wide and then sewed the strips together to make one long continuous strip. Then of course, I sewed all three long strips together to form the bunting that you see. If you have basic sewing machine skills like I do, this is a totally doable project that will add so much patriotic style to your home this summer. I am happy to report that I am now the proud owner of a real step stool. So no more standing on my mom and dad's dining chairs when I need to hang something, which I know they're probably looking down at me and we're not really thrilled that I was doing that. Those chairs are actually, um, they were a wedding gift from my grandparents. They were part of a much larger dining room set and it was their wedding present to my mom and dad. So. Anyhow, no more standing on the chairs. I have a real certifiable step stool to keep me and my caned back dining chairs safe. Both of my maternal grandparents served in the army during World War II. In fact, they met while stationed in New Guinea. When the war was over, my grandpa asked my grandma to marry him, several times as the story goes. Thankfully, she eventually did say yes. It is such a blessing to be surrounded by so many of the beautiful things that once graced their home, and this flag is just one of the many items that I have from their collection.
When it came to putting this 4th of July look together, the only thing I bought brand new was this bunting. I found a set of three of them on Amazon for just $9.99. I will be sure to put a link to them in the description box in case anyone is looking for something similar. These are three feet wide, which is exactly what I needed to fit across the top of this wall cabinet that I built last year. I still need to find spots for the other two though. I'm thinking I might put one of them on the mantle in the dining room, but I'll keep you posted. So you guys know that I love to incorporate art prints throughout our home and change them up as the seasons go along. And for the 4th of July, I found some really neat pieces that I think are absolutely perfect for this time of year. This one was an art print I got off of Etsy. It's a print of the JLG Ferris's. <laughs> I got it on my phone over here. Writing of the Declaration of Independence and it shows Adams and Franklin and Jefferson toiling away at the document and so I thought this would be a really neat piece to display. I think I'm going to put it on the cabinet. If y'all didn't notice I actually have a portrait of George Washington up there and I kind of keep it there year round. When we started to homeschool I thought doesn't every schoolhouse have a portrait of George Washington and my kids rolled their eyes. I think I've told this story before but I thought it was funny. This is going to be a great companion to sit on the bookshelf with it. And then the other two prints that I ended up picking up was a portrait of Ben Franklin. Isn't that cool? I found this one on the National Portrait Gallery website, I think. This one was free. It didn't cost me anything. Just the $1.50 or so to have it printed on cardstock. The other two I did find on Etsy and I will link those below. And then the Declaration of Independence. I mean, it doesn't get any more 4th of July than that. I think I'm going to put that in that frame right there where I have the Velveteen Rabbit print. I think that's going to go in there. But again, I think art prints are such an inexpensive way to easily change up the look of your space and add those festive touches without spending a ton of money.
I have lived with this piano nearly my entire life. As of late, I have been making covers to protect the needlepoint top on the bench, and today I decided to put the blue ticking stripe cover back on. We tend to sit on the bench quite a bit, and as much as I love to look at the design on the top, right now I just want to keep it clean and safe. I always love to spruce up our drab brown sofa with beautiful pillow covers. With the exception of the white one that is from Ikea, all of the other ones that I will be using are ones that I made myself over the last couple of years. The ones that I'm using this summer in particular, I think really lean into that Ralph Lauren home look that I adore so much. All of those deep blues and whites just really pop. I haven't done a ton of thrifting over these last couple of months, but last week I walked into a new Goodwill that's just been built. So I was curious to see what all they had. And I ended up finding these really cute ruffled pillows. There was a pair of them. They were $1.99 each. I've already run them through the wash, dried them. They are fresh and clean. I always think that's important if you're gonna buy anything fabric related at the thrift store, but I don't know where I want to put them yet. Part of me was thinking I wanted to put them on these chairs over here, but I may use them on the sofa over here. I don't know. I'm still playing with it.
Hey guys, that's it for this week's video. I think that this is my favorite 4th of July look that I've ever put together, honestly. It just, it feels festive, but it feels classy and elegant, which is always the look that I'm going for in our home. And the best part is, is that I really spent very little money doing it. I spent $10 on the fabric for the bunting on the mantle. I spent $10 for a package of three of the buntings, like the one that I hung on my wall cabinet. So I've got two more that I need to find places for, probably in the dining room, but we'll see. And other than that, everything else was really just kind of pulled together with items that I already had, fresh flowers, just some fabric that I had left over from some other projects. Really, it wasn't anything expensive, but the room feels so special and it feels so well put together and it just makes me happy. It really does have that kind of historic home quality and kind of mixed in with a Ralph Lauren home look, which I always find so inspirational, especially this time of year. Just those rich, deep reds and blues and with the navy blue walls in here, that kind of decor just really pops. Once again, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I always enjoy talking to you guys in the comments, so thank you so much for being so kind every single week. I truly appreciate you guys so much. So I will see y'all next week. Bye now. Mm -hmm.